Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk about my May wrap up. So in the last two weeks I didn't post a video because I had Covid and I was with a sore throat so I couldn't speak so that's why I didn't make any videos. So I'm really sorry about that but you know that's it was the first time that I had Covid and you know it was really soft it was like a constipation nothing serious but well I have it you know so I think that everyone is going to have it at some point and it was my turn so in today's video I'm going to talk to you about the books that I read in the month of May of this year 2022 I'm going to talk about the books that I'm currently reading that I'm still currently reading um, some movies and TV series that I also watched this month I'm going to make some comments about it and well I hope you enjoy so this month I was only able to finish a series that is a graphic novel series and I'm talking about Heartstopper so as you can see my May wasn't really um, prolific that's how we say it I think it is so I wasn't uh, able to finish the books that I was still reading again you know and I was only able to finish this graphic novel so I have volume 1 volume 2 volume 3 and volume 4 I put my mother reading this as well she loved it we saw the series together it was really beautiful I really enjoyed it and she did it as well and yeah so this uh, graphic novel talks about a boy called Charlie he's on 10th year in high school he's a British boy and he is gay and we get to know him first in school but we understand that the year before he was bullied a lot because people found out that he was gay because no one knew it and people found out how we don't know we just get to know how it happened through the books and we get to know him in the beginning of the graphic novel we get to understand that he has some kind of boyfriend but we understand that the boy it's called Ben and Ben uh, didn't came out yet so they are hiding kissing you know so for Charlie it's a uncomfort uncomfortable situation because Ben doesn't show a lot of caring for Charlie and he Charlie doesn't know how Ben truly feels about him and so he's struggling with that relationship and then we followed Charlie and he's put in a um, study class with uh, students from the year above him 11th and there he's put in a table with Nick Nelson that he's a year older than him 
and then they they become you know friends they talk they have they have good times together they pass with some situations that are uh, funny nick nelson plays rugby and nick uh, invites charlie to to enter the team of rugby because he sees him running in in a class and charlie runs really fast and so nick thinks that he's a good idea that he enter the rugby team so he could be a good player so charlie accepts and then he passes a lot of time with nick and they form a friendship and charlie becomes to fall for nick so nick as you know as we know him is a heterosexual so charlie is in a difficult situation and charlie has a friend called how, how is it called shao i don't remember well i think it's shao shao becomes really worried about uh, charlie because he understands that charlie is falling for nick and so he worries about it but then we see a scene where charlie breaks up with ben so he wants to stop seeing him because he finds out that ben has a girlfriend and for charlie that's enough and then we see a scene where uh, it passes it pass it passed some time after they break up and ben asks charlie through text asks uh, charlie to speak with him he wants to talk he asks if they can do that after the rugby training and charlie accepts and goes where ben asks him to go and then they have a conversation where ben tries to kiss charlie and then nick appears and saves charlie from that situation and says for, for ben go along and it's a really cute scene where we first see a glimpse of a, a more intimate relationship between charlie and nick and it's really cute and then i don't want to tell you any more about the story i think it it is a story that you from this point you have to go and find your find um for yourselves so i really advise you to you to go and pick up this book they are four till now i think that volume five is coming out I think soon i don't know the date of release i don't know if it is known but i think that will be the fifth and final volume from this series and i'm really excited to get to the end of the story and see how the story unfolds it's a story that talks about eating disorders it talks about self-mutilation and it talks about uh, transgender people because parallel to the nick and, uh, nick and charlie story there's other stories um, occurring uh, um, charlie has a friend called l that is a transgender girl we we see also a, a story about her we see I, it's not Shao, it's Tao, the name of, of Charlie's friend, Tao. Uh, he's Tao, uh, Vietnamese or something like that. I don't know exactly um, the nationality, the um, ancestry of Tao, but he's uh, from Asian culture. Yeah, we see a lot of parallel stories. We accompany a lesbian couple. So it's really diverse 
really inclusive, really fun. And I think that it is a story that will warm your heart. You will pass a really good time reading this. It's so easy to go through the pages. It's so smooth, so easy, so fun, you know? So I really advise you to go and pick this one up. I think it's a really beautiful story and it deserves to be read. You go through the four books uh, in one day. It's so, so easy to read. So if you think that this is a type of story that will interest you, I think you should pick this one up. And even though you may not read about LGBTQ plus stories. I think you should begin with it because it's really important you, that we have inclusivity. And I think this is a really, really beautiful story. So I really advise you to go and give this one a try. So yeah, I really loved it. So, of course, I'm the books that I'm currently reading. So, I'm still re reading The Brothers Karamazov. I didn't pick this up in May at all. It was really frustrating, but I wasn't really in the mood. This book is being really difficult for me. And it, it isn't every time that I want to read it. So it's been really difficult for me to have the, um, the want to pick this book up. So that's why I didn't read it at all. So that's one. I'm also reading, still reading Life and Fate by Vasily Grossman. I didn't pick this one up either. So this one was for a lack of time and um also wanting yeah i didn't read i didn't want to read this month f to be fair in may i was really lazy and i didn't pick any book up to be true to myself and to you so it was a really sad month Another one that I'm still reading is Ana Carmina. So I picked this one up, at least. Um, I read a few pages. I read like 50 pages. I'm, I think I'm 60 pages to go. So I think in an afternoon I can complete this book. So let's hope for that. And more recently, I'm... I started reading The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This is my um, 12 books for 12 months, months uh, challenge for May, but I didn't was able to finish. So I'm, I only read 30 pages, as you can see. So I'm already behind. I had to, I should have picked up this month in June. I should have picked up the next book from the challenge and I didn't. So I'm behind schedule. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it, but you know, I'm just closing my eyes and hope for the best. So now about movies that I saw. I saw the new Batman with Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. This movie, I'm a really big fan of Christopher Nolan Batman. I love Christian Bale. I think that he is impeccable in that movies, in those movies. But that's why I was a bit unsure about this new one but I have to say that I enjoyed it I think that Robert Pattinson what well, it was 
times that it was a bit too um, melodramatic. I don't know how to describe it, but I think that melodramatic it's the word that I'm looking for. But it was really, you know, like somber and I know that that's what the, the character asks, asks for but in sometimes I think it was a bit too much and a bit too forced so it didn't convince me so well but um, I enjoyed I enjoyed the plot I really enjoy seeing Zoe as Catwoman I think she was really cute because she is so small and it's really funny uh, but I really enjoyed the plot. I think it was well const constructed. And yeah, I have to say that I enjoyed seeing the movie. So if you weren't sure, and if you are also a Christopher Nolan fan of the Batman movies, I don't think they are comparable, you know? They are not. Because Christian Bell is, you know, Christian Bell. But still, I think you will enjoy this movie. So, yeah, there you go. Then I saw The Northman. So this movie is with Alexander Skargard, Ethan Hawke, Nicole Kidman and Anya Taylor-Joy. Of course, there are others, but these are the main characters. So this is a movie about a Northman a child that is um, son to a king and we see that king being killed by his brother so the uncle of the child and the child is watching and the uncle orders someone to kill the child as well and the child flees and he is able to es escape and then it, there is a scene that he sees his mother being dragged uh, by the uncle and the, she is screaming and so on and the child escapes through the sea but while he is escaping he is telling himself that he will avenge his father and rescue his mother and so some years pass he becomes a warrior so he's really skilled in um, war so he's a good fighter For in some circumstance he finds out where the uncle is living and so he gets a way to go there and then some situations occur, some twists occur. Uh, he meets a girl along the way where she's going to change his plans a little bit. So I'm not going to tell anymore. I think that what I told you is enough. You have to see the rest. Uh, but you know, in the first, when I first saw it, I didn't know that this was um, a tale, a north, a north, a Northic tale, where um, Hamlet was inspired from. I didn't read Hamlet, so I don't really know the story. I just know from from what I hear about it. But they say that this is an um, inspirational uh, um, tale uh, where Shakespeare was inspired to write Hamlet. So the boy that I'm, I was talking about is Hamlet, in a way. So when I first saw it, and I of course I, I only saw it once, but after right after I saw it I have to say that 
I it was a bit strange for me. I don't I wasn't really sure if I had enjoyed the movie, you know? But when I knew that um, it was a, a, a tale and it was an inspirational tale for Hamlet, I saw, I saw it with a different eye, you know? Um, and I think that the cinematography is excellent. I don't have to say I haven't... Uh, I, I can't say the contrary. The cinematography, the photography, they are both excellent. It, uh, the scenes are really, they are, they have an ambiance, you know. And I think that the, act, the actors are really, really uh, great in their roles. So the cast is excellent. But you know, I think it's a movie worth watching if you were interested in that type of story. Um, but yeah, I was a bit unsure. But after I knew that, I became with a more positive vision from the movie. So there you go. Then I saw, well, I didn't finish this movie, Senior Year. So this movie is a comedy movie with Rebel Wilson. I really love this actress. I think she is so funny. But this movie for me didn't work. It started well. Uh, but along the way, I don't know, the, the what they say and the scenes and the plot becomes really cliche and really, you know, that type of movie that you watched already. So, yeah, for me it didn't work. So I can't say how it ends because I didn't watch it. I wasn't able to. I had enough. I watch almost till the end, but it was it come to a point where it was too cheesy, and yeah, it didn't work for me. So I don't know. Did you watch it? What what did you think? Then in series, I as I've told you already, I watch Heartstopper. So I'm not going to elongate a lot because I already told the story of Heartstopper. I just want to say that this is a wonderful series. I think it was so delicate. The details uh, with leaves uh, going through the scenes are so cute. They have um, like um, cuts with um, the boxes like a graphic novel would have. And it's so cute. So the cinematography is, is also really sweet and really well thought and well, you know, loyal to what the book is, a graphic novel. So that was really interesting to watch. And the actors that were chosen were really on point. They are not so faithful to the, the physical characteristics of the characters of the graphic novel, but still, I think they were really good. Uh, really, they are really a good cast. They really work together, you know. Yeah, it's so wonderful to see the story on screen. It's really cute. They have really funny scenes and really oh scenes, you know. <laughs> So I really advise you to watch it. Then I saw uh, Julia. I I I didn't start this this series this month. I already was watching it. So, but I finished the series this month. So this series is about Julia Child, that she she was uh, in the sixties maybe. I didn't do my work, homework for this one. 
I'm not so sure, but I think she's from the 60s. Like 60s or maybe 70s, 80s, from that era. Um, and she... No, 80s, no. Nor 70s. I think this from this... Or 50s or 60s. Yeah. Uh, she is a woman that wrote a um, cookbook. And her cookbook was a bestseller. And she, um, in this series, we begin the series when she is already 50 years old. And she has a want within her where she wants to go to television and do recipes for television. Is a dream that she has. And so she writes to um, a television station and she proposes this, this idea. She proposes this idea and there is a producer there, a woman, a black woman, uh, that um, it knows her and knows the book and it's really excited with the idea and she uh, calls her and asks her to go there so they can talk about the, the series that she wants to do and so but Julia didn't tell her husband because she was afraid that her husband would be against the idea and she was right because when she tries she tells him that the, the television station was the one who proposed the idea to her and the husband is not really fan of the idea and she, she began she becomes really bummed about it so she asks her friends to help her convince her husband to let her go and do this series and so that's the whole thing um, and they um, um, they achieve and they get the husband to agree and so she begins to do recipes on television she's filmed they they construct husband constructs um, a kitchen for her she he um, has all the measures all the ideas for the kitchen so he becomes really integrated in the project and then a best friend of Julia also helps her so it's like a work team and it's really funny it's really heartwarming to watch this series I already have watched that movie with Meryl Streep Julie and Julia I think it's the name of the movie so I already knew who who was Julia Child but with this series we get to know her a bit more and we get to know a span of her life that's really interesting so I watched I think that it will be um, existing a season two we hope for uh, but this season was really interesting was an introduction uh, development so it was really interesting I really enjoyed it and if you know Julia Child I think you will really love this series then I start uh, watching The Staircase this is a movie with Colin Firth Tony Collette and Juliette Pinoche so this is a movie where Colin, the character of Colin Firth um, is in his second marriage and the his wife appears um, has an accident and she dies in the low 
at the end of the staircase in their house and so they have children together well I don't know if they have if they have it together I don't think so so the wife have a, a daughter and he have two sons with his first wife and then have two daughters that he adopted. I think that's how it is. And so she appears dead um, and then uh, the... Um, I don't know how to say it in English. So the, the court um, accuses him of killing his wife and so the whole story um, rounds about that and an interesting thing, so he goes to, to a, a good lawyer of a crime lawyer, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Uh, and he contracts contracts him. It's difficult today. <laughs> oh, I think that's how you say it. Um, and a, an interesting thing that happens is that two Frenchmen uh, are interested to do a documentary about um, his life and about his case and so they began f they come to America and they began uh, interviewing him filming his family his ch his children and because they are you know in their 20s early 20s uh, so they are really young uh, and then we understand that along the, the episodes we understand that he becomes dating a new woman I, like I don't know um, 20 years after the death of his second wife we understand that he is dating another woman and then we find out that that woman was an editor for that two Frenchmen because she is also French and that's an interesting twist there and so uh, along the story we see various perspectives on the crime or the situation um, and we see also the lives of his children how they are doing, how this uh, circumstance affects their lives um, and so he has to mortgage his house to pay the lawyer so it's a whole thing about it uh, I'm still watching so I'm in, in the middle of the, the series so I don't have the whole perspective of the series but I'm really enjoying it I think that the series is really interesting we never get to see what really happens that's something that I thought it was interesting so we are all always doubtful of what truly happened so sometimes you think no it didn't do it and other times you are like well not so sure so it's like you never know that's the point so that's really interesting so I'm really enjoying it and I would advise you to go and watch it and yeah that's it we are through the video so I hope you have enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already leave a like it helps a lot to the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And yeah, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.